Macca's Guides. Hey guys, Macca here. I was browsing the internet as I often do and I found something that I thought was pretty cool so I thought I would share it with you guys. I did find this on the Xbox One subreddit. Now if you have the new Xbox One Experience dashboard aka you're in the preview program and you've been accepted, you can actually access Cortana if you do a few steps. You're going to want to snap to the left hand side, go to your settings, go to the all settings button, from there press up on the d-pad and you'll notice that nothing is selected. From there, tap A once, and if it opens, it opens. If it doesn't, try tapping A again a few seconds later, and eventually Cortana will open. Now, there's two scenarios that will happen from here. If you're in the U.S., you'll need to accept some of the terms and services, agree to whatever, and she'll be added. Now, if you're not in the U.S., like, for example, I was in Canada, she was not compatible with the Canadian locale, so you'll probably need to change to the U.S., if you're located outside of the US if you want to test her out. Keep in mind changing your location will disable some of the functions of your Xbox, so yeah. But from there you can basically use Cortana as you would on any other operating system. Now it's a little bit more limited because it's on the Xbox, but feel free to ask her questions like, hey, what's the weather like in Los Angeles? That was the first question I decided to ask her. Now occasionally instead of just answering you flat out, she'll just take you to an internet screen so I asked her what time is it in Tokyo and she just decided to drop in a Internet Explorer window instead of answering the question directly, which is unfortunate because the answer is actually right there. Next up, I just said play Rock Band 4 and she didn't do that. You have to actually use specific commands in certain scenarios. So you have to actually tell her to go to Rock Band 4. Now to initiate Cortana, uh, similar to how you would say Xbox do something for Cortana, the command is Hey Cortana. And that'll bring her up and then you can ask her a question. Similar to Siri, she has some built-in things. You can ask her who her creator is. You can say, Cortana, who's your daddy? You can say, Cortana, tell me a joke. And those will typically work and give you kind of quirky and fun things that you can get uh, her to say. So there are built-in kind of fun commands that some people will have fun with. I'm sure you guys can Google those if you want to try this for yourself. Now, keep in mind, because it is for the U.S. locale, she might not recognize your accent if you are based outside of the U.S. Another few things to keep in mind is that this isn't really supposed to be seen by the vast majority of people. This is a little bit of a trick to get her Why early. She still is in beta, so you want to keep that in mind. Because this is not her final day, form, so there are certain bangle. things she can't do or won't do as easily. It is also a little bit buggy and you have to use kind of very specific language to get her to do very specific things. For example, like I said, you have to say go to a certain game instead of just play. Uh, another example would be that I asked her like that time in Tokyo and she didn't know. Now if you say something like, how are the Microsoft stocks? That'll work, but if you say, how do the Microsoft stocks look? she won't actually get that. So again, it's a little bit of that wording thing that you're gonna have to get used to. Hopefully they do adjust it as Anytime. they get closer to launching her as she isn't ready. As an example, I asked her for the score in the Toronto Blue Jays game, but instead of giving me the day's score, she gave me yesterday's score. Also I asked her what team Phil Kessel plays for, and it was a little bit outdated information. So you'll wanna keep that in mind. That kind of probably has to do a little bit with how the Bing search works, as well as how she compiles the information. With that being said, in the top left corner of her snap screen, there is a location to provide feedback. You can also unsnap her and then bring her up in the little corner by saying, Hey Cortana, and she works in a similar fashion to when you talk to your Xbox. Again, so you can unsnap her if you want and then call on her whenever you do need. Now, she did randomly stop working on me, which again is to be expected as you probably shouldn't really be doing this. This is kind of like a hidden Easter egg for some people who really want to try her out. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share it with your friends, especially if they're excited to try Cortana out for the first time. Hopefully they also enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.